The Shawnee softball team came into Tuesday's game needing to get by Kingsway to get to 500 for the season. It wasn't going to be easy to begin with, and Dragons third baseman Cat Knoll made a tough task even harder with a solo home run to center field in the first inning and then a two-run blast to left field in the third. Knoll's second homer gave Kingsway a 3-0 lead through two and a half innings, but Shawnee surged into the lead in the home third, beginning with Anna Swerdlow's leadoff single. I've been in a little bit of a slump. I haven't hit in a while, so the first hit that I got, I was really happy. Like I started things up for Sam to hit her double. That was really awesome. Julia Cooker walked to follow Swerdlow, then Marissa Fulcher moved the runners with a sacrifice bunt that set the table for Shawnee catcher Sam Volpe. Everyone was together. We all really wanted it. Everyone was supporting each other, and I knew to, for the team that I was really up there to get something up going for the team. Volpe's double got the Renegades within a run, and Alana Burns followed with a bloop double that tied the game. Shawnee took the lead when Liz Hartshorn singled back through the middle to bring Burns around. Noel tied the game again in the top of the fourth when she drew a bases loaded walk, but Shawnee retook the lead right away when Volpe's grounder to short was misplayed with the bases loaded. Swerdlow scored the go-ahead run and spent the last two innings in the pitcher circle defending the Renegades' lead. Just a speed change. Uh, yeah, Anna has a little bit more lower, I think, than Kayla does, and it really threw him off having it change up a little bit. Sydney Maroney delivered a one-out hit for Kingsway in the sixth that brought Noel to the plate again to build on her four RBI day. Actually, Kat and I played together over the summer, so it was really, really cool to strike her out. And going in, I knew it was going to be hard since she had hit two home runs already. But after that, I knew it was like it was go time. I had to get it, and it was it was awesome. It was really cool. Swordlow fan cleanup hitter Danielle Dominic to close out the inning, and the Dragons went quietly in the seventh to close out Shawnee's 5-4 win. So we've had a really slow start. We've had some injuries, some people away. We haven't had to be able to put our straight lineup together, and when we played Cherokee, things started to come together, and we proved that we can play Shawnee softball. And today, that's what I told him before the game even started. Let's just pick up right where the Cherokee game left off, and let's continue to play Shawnee softball. From Shawnee High School, this is John Lewis.